Okay, so now let's look at the carbon reactions. And these are the reactions of photosynthesis that fix carbon dioxide onto an organic molecule. This occurs in the stroma, so not within the thylakoids. And this is going to use the ATP and the NADH, NADPH that were created from the light reactions. All right? So the main thing that occurs here is what is known as the Calvin cycle. Now the Calvin cycle, let's just go and look at the whole thing, was discovered by Melvin Calvin in the 1940s. All right? Now, like any cycle, the final product, which is called RUBP, is also one of the first reactants. All right? So, as I mentioned, the energy to drive this, so the ATP and the NADPH that you see here, all comes from the light reactions. All right? So, what's happened here is that we fix carbon dioxide onto this organic molecule, and it's going to make this molecule known as G3P eventually. Now, G3P, I mentioned way back in glycolysis, this is the same molecule that is made, uh, that we produce uh, after the energy investing steps in glycolysis. Now, G3P is the main product. So, as you can see here, we make six G3P here. One of those G3P leaves the cycle. And that's what's important. That's what we're trying to make. G3P is then used to make glucose or any other organic molecule that the plants need. And then the final step in this is reverting G3P back into our starting molecule of RUBP. So it literally takes two turns of the Calvin cycle to make one glucose molecule. Now if we want to make something else, it's going to take a few more turns. There are a couple different modes of photosynthesis. So, oh, uh, this was just a shirt I created for a baby one time. Uh, his name was Calvin, and so I did the Calvin cycle on this kid's uh, little shirt. Anyway, moving on. So, with most molecules, the most molecule or most plants are what we call C3 plants. C3 plants are plants that only use the Calvin cycle to fix carbon dioxide. And why they're called C3 plants is because the first product has three carbons in it. All right. Now, these are most plants that live in moderate to warm temperatures. They get a lot of water. So water is not a problem for these guys. Now, if you guys remember back, I talked about these things called stomata. These are essentially the respiratory organs for plants. They allow carbon dioxide in and oxygen out, but they can also allow water out. And that can become a problem when you look at plants that live in hotter and drier environments. So the next group of plants are called C4 plants. Now, if I just go back to this for a second, this is a vein of a regular plant. And a vein of a regular plant transports water just like veins in us do, all right? Now, if you notice here, there's hardly any cells around it. But this next group of plants called C4 plants, what they do is they pack a lot of cells around their vein so they lose less water. But it also makes it harder for them to fix carbon dioxide. So C4 plants are gonna fix carbon dioxide onto another molecule before it enters the Calvin cycle. And this molecule right here has four carbons, all right? So oxaloacetate and malate, and I'm not worried that you know any of these names, but eventually it goes to the Calvin cycle, okay? So these kind of plants, they like uh, hotter and drier climates, uh, so this would be like corn, sugar cane, all right. The last group are called uh, cam plants. So cam plants is what we see over here. With cam plants, these are plants that do their light reactions during the day and their carbon reactions at night. And so what these kind of plants do is that during the day, their stomata are closed. So that prevents water from leaving the plant but they're also going to do the light reactions then, getting those energy molecules, ATP, NADPH, all right? And then at night, they're going to open those stomata up, allowing carbon in, and then that's when they do the, um, uh, the Calvin cycle, uh, the, so the carbon reactions, and that's where they can use that carbon dioxide, okay, in making organic molecules. So you can see uh, at night, they're not do, uh, they do the Calvin cycle, and during the day, uh, they're not really doing that as much, okay? So in the day, they're uh, absorbing sunlight, all right? 
So when it comes to CAM plants, which stands for crassolucine acid metabolism, you don't have to know that, all right? These plants live in desert conditions for the most part, all right? They're showing a pineapple here, but cactus and so on, those are uh, very hot, dry environment plants that do this. 